the Mass Drop M22 AKG headphones by Harman are a pretty good budget headphone according to reviews and Mass Drop reached out to me to ask if I wanted to review them. And I said I'd be happy to review them, but the way we do it here on Tronix Fix is from the inside out. So Mass Drop said they would be happy to sponsor a teardown video of the M22 Blue headphones and they would also send me an extra pair for a giveaway, so I'll be giving away one pair of these M22 Blue headphones by choosing a random comment in the comment section below. So we've got the headphones, and we have the adapter, we've got some instruction manuals, and that's about it. And here's our first look at this wired headset. Got some nice large ear cups. They are fairly light, but seem to be pretty good quality so far from what I can tell. But we'll get into it and see what they're made of from the inside. We do have a single-sided detachable cable. That's got the three wire plug here. Now that we have them out, let's see if we can figure out how to get them open. First things first, they do have a detachable ear pad on both sides, which is kind of cool in case you need to replace them. And we have a good look at the inside. Now these have some must have some sort of ball socket in there as they do adjust any way. And I don't feel like there's a hinge in there. So there must be some sort of ball socket in here. And there is also a little notch right here with a little bit of a gap. So I'm wondering if maybe I can pop one of these sides off right here. There also could be some screws in here. So I'll look at that next. And there we go. We do have one screw under that. So we'll take that screw off and see if that will get us inside. Now with that screw off, this part just pops off. And then we have another screw and this shows the wiring. So we just have one red wire over here and one white wire soldered on over here. Let's take this screw out and see if this whole earpiece will remove. There we go. So that's coming out. Now that that's off, we have this part removed. So that's how we get the earpiece off. Let's see if there's any way we can get inside here. And it looks like inside here, there's a clip that we can unclip. So I'm gonna try that next, see if we can get that unclipped and hopefully that back will fall off. So I'm not 100% sure if there's a clip in there or if it's just a locating pin, but after pulling up on this part, it seems like it will just kind of slide out of there. And then we get access to the speaker itself, which is inside there. Now we'll get these wires desoldered so we can take a look down under inside the headphone at the hinge mechanism and also the speaker. Now that we have these wires desoldered, we can remove this piece. So this piece just has these two locating pins that will go down in here. Then after that, you can really see the hinge mechanism. We have one piece that goes this way on these hinges, and then another piece that goes the other way on those hinges. One thing I like to take a careful look at is the hinge pins, because many times with these headphones, people are a little hard on them, and these pins will break or come off or something like that. These ones, as far as I can tell, they look pretty sturdy, so I don't think there's too much to worry about there. But let's take them apart and check them out a little closer. Okay, that is some really strong plastic there, which is good because these hinge pins take a lot of force on them sometimes. They're pretty tough to get off of there. So there we go. You can see there's Actually, this is a really good design for the, this hinge pin. You can see that 
there's material built up right here to make that corner much stronger. Same with right here. So I actually really like the design of this hinge pin itself. So it seems like even though it is plastic, it looks like it's a really strong plastic and that joint is reinforced nicely. And here we go, we've got the speaker here. So it looks like there's a gasket that goes around the speaker that goes right down here. So this is a little 55 ohm speaker. It is actually a pretty good little uh, speaker case here. It's nice and strong, it's got plastic all around it. it. It has a nice solid plastic on the front. So you don't have to worry about pushing that in or anything. So this actually looks like a pretty solidly made speaker assembly right here and now with the speaker out this is about as far as we're gonna go like I said I'm not gonna take this part this ring out as we don't really need to for this we've got everything torn down as far as we need to so let's get this speaker back installed and make sure we can get it all back together another thing I do want to mention is these wires are very solidly soldered on sometimes with really cheap speakers they'll just be barely touched with solder and they can get loose pretty quickly so these ones are soldered on nicely and that would go along with the price point on these speakers they're kind of a budget speaker but i would say maybe a little more higher end budget headphone and so the build of this so far goes right along with that kind of higher end budget headphones And now it's time to solder the wires back onto the frame of the headphones. Now we have the wires soldered on correctly and securely. Now we need to deal with this problem right here. Now this is coming up. Now I mentioned before I might use, maybe use some super glue, but I'm actually gonna use something called Tessa tape. I've started down here. And this tape is actually what a lot of shops use to hold iPad screens down. backing off. Just put a little bit of pressure on the white part and then really push it down. Now ready to reattach this speaker assembly onto the frame of the headphones. Now that's attached securely. Now we can put this back on. Let's take the other side apart and see if it comes apart the same way. And let's see if this pulls off, and it does. This reveals all the wires inside. We've got a red, white, and yellow. This yellow goes into a junction with one red going on this side and one red going through to the other side. So to get the rest of them apart, we would just take this screw out and then we could get to the inside over here. Another thing I'm curious about is these pieces on the side here. It looks like they're just held on with these screws. So let's remove this screw and see if it comes out. Okay, now. Yeah, you can see it's coming apart right there at the seam. There we go. So if we had a pair of these and we needed to replace something like this, it actually looks pretty easy to fix. Let's put that back on. And we'll get this screw back in. There's one.
and there's the other. So these headphones also are adjustable. This is an adjustable strap right here. My one concern is this is kind of like an elastic band. It seems like a lot of times this type of elastic does eventually wear out. Well, the nice thing is you can take these off and replace this band if needed, assuming you can find parts for these. So that is the good thing. It wouldn't be super hard to replace that. Now, after my look at these from the inside out, I would say that these are pretty well-made headphones. I do see that they are made almost entirely of plastic, but the nice thing is it is a good quality, hard, strong plastic, as you saw when I was taking apart the swivel part of the headphone. I also can say after putting these on, this band is actually pretty nice. It, it sits on my head nicely and doesn't put a lot of pressure on the top of my head. Some of them seem like they're so tight, they put a lot of pressure there. These ones have a little bit of pressure, enough to keep the headphones on, but not a ton of it. Now, another nice feature of these is it does have the removable plug right here. You can plug and unplug right into here. And this is nice in case you need to replace the cable or anything like that. The cable is nice and thick on these and the connectors are good, high quality and strong connectors. So I don't see any major problems with the connectors themselves. So overall, I would be giving these headphones a thumbs up. Now, as I mentioned before, Mastrop did include another pair of headphones that I have not taken apart. I will be giving these away to a random commenter, so please pay attention to your comments after you comment and look for the one that I respond to. Also, since these headphones seem to go together really well, and there was no problems taking them apart or putting them together, I'm also gonna be giving away these headphones. So I'll be giving away a total of two headphones to random commenters in the comments section. Thank you again for Mastrop for sponsoring this video and giving these headphones away to you guys. Hope you guys have a good one and thanks for watching.